Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albina Round Beer Review, another unboxing video here. I did not actually expect this beer, uh, this uh, beer mail. I did not know it was coming. This beer mail was sent to me by the one and only Lee M, so thank you very much, Lee. Uh, I do owe him a beer mail back, and now I'm going to have to make it a bigger one than I was going to. Um, I owe him and Nick beer mail still. Uh, I've caught up on most of them. I just owe Nick and him one, and we will get to them soon. I'm building them as we speak. Uh, they just, uh, they've been waiting because I had a horrible... Horrible December, and I've spent a lot of my January and February so far catching up on the financial problems from December. I'm still not even close to caught up, but uh, I get, I've get i been trying to get one out every few weeks, and that's been working. So that's what's going to happen again, is I'll get another one out in the next little while, and then my third one, and then I'll be all caught up, and I'll be happy because I hate not being caught up. Oh, looks like something popped in here. Yep, we lost a beer. Yes sirree, we lost a beer. I guess it was this beer. This stuff's coming from frozen ass uh, Alberta, so yeah, it's. Uh, I think it was this beer, yeah, it was. So there we go. Uh, I actually got this beer in the Canadian Craft Club box, so it's. It, it froze. That was its problem. It's 5% alcohol, it was cold out, it froze. Let's drop these uh, beer covered stuffs down there. Hopefully, that was the only one that had a problem. Uh, this is the this is the only problem with uh, lower ABV beers in the winter getting shipped is it gets fucking cold out there, and mattering where you're sending them to, it can be bad. Oh, okay. So Big Rock uh, Brewing Company's Harvest Pale Ale. I heard that Big Rock's doing a pretty good job with their bigger bottles. Ugh. What else do we got in here? I'll have to come down later with the daughter and clean up all this mess of stuff I'm throwing down here. Uh, Blue Dragon... Blue Dragon Double IPA from Alley Cat. So that'll be my second, I believe, Alley Cat beer ever. It'll be fun to try, uh, especially with all the warnings on it about being for hop heads only. And, you know, having hops in it that I'm not a big fan of, but I will love to try it regardless. Who the hell is this one? Oh, this is a... Uh, it's Waiiti Wheat Ale. Oh, from Big Rock as well. Okay. Uh, new caps than what I'm used to from Big Rock. There we go. Cox. Waiiti Wheat Ale. So like I said, there will be a... Uh, box coming out your way in a week or two. Hopefully it's a little warmer when my box comes out because some of my beers are not as uh ooh a boxed beer. What is this one? It's a big rock. Big rock is cork and caging? What the fuck is this? It's a cork and caged big rock. Oh one second here. So it's uh Dark Cherry Abbey Ale, and let's get the Lucky Leaf out again, because, <sighs> there we go, it just did not want to come off, uh oh, uh oh, okay, so Big Rocks, Dark Cherry Abbey Ale, intriguing, intriguing, sir, 
So at least the beer that we lost wasn't really a full loss. It was another one of those uh, sneak out from under the caps. Well, this is a big rock beer as well. Now that I know that, uh, that top, I know what I'm looking at. This is Big Rock Bitter. You know what, I actually really enjoy getting surprise beer meals. What I don't enjoy is waking up from the dog alarm system as the uh, mail lady walks up the porch. Both the dogs go insane as if somebody's trying to kill somebody on the front lawn. Okay, so this is Wild Rose. Uh, Belgian style pale ale winter 2016. Okay. And last but not least. Ooh, this one's colorful. Who's it by? Ooh. It's a foil top. Okay, let's move that down here. Yeah, there's a toothbrush and toothpaste over there, okay. Old uh, Dutramoni Barley Wine from Alley Cat. Awesome. So thank you very much, Lee, again. Uh, well, Lee M, let's uh, make it known which Lee it is, because there are a couple Lees that I uh, deal with. I'm actually... It was a nice surprise. Uh, I figured somebody had sent me something. Uh, when the dogs went off, I just did not expect anything from Lee. There's a few beer meals I had been talked to about that I figured maybe it was one of them, but no, it was not. So there we go. Um, probably gonna have to send him two boxes now. Uh, I do have a lot of his stuff over there right now that I'm gonna send him. So I just gotta build up something else. I'm gonna go to the LCBO this week and next week, see what I can grab. I also have to go to some of the breweries around here and drop off posters for my beer festival, so I'll pick up some stuff while I'm there. And hopefully by the time it goes out, because it'll be probably about the end of February, that it will not be as cold. That's all I can hope for. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, I also got this in the mail today don't know if it's any good or anything. It was a $5 game, so I figured, hey, whatever, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Who knows? Anyway, bye.